Right, so we're just going to cover the neckline of the bralette um, and the binding. So I've actually cut my binding at 7 eighths of an inch. Um, what I do suggest if you're making your first one is cut it at that one inch. It just gives you a little bit extra to play with, um, makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so the binding has been folded in half to mark the center point and then I've measured one inch from either end to mark my placement points. So we're going to match that with the center and the one inch gets marked, matched with the edge of the neckline. So when we're sewing this, what we want to do is stretch the binding, but not the actual underneath fabric. So like that when we're sewing. And that will um, help to keep it close to the chest without gaping. So we'll stitch that on. So once I've caught the very edge of that, then I start stretching the binding. And once you get to that V, you want to straighten out the fabric underneath. And then keep stitching. binding is to fold that up towards the seam allowance that we've created and then around the seam. So then we'll just clip that. now and then the back looks like that so this is the raw edge and it should just conceal your stitching so if you've cut that binding at one inch it'll just give you a little bit more room to cover your stitching there okay so we've got this little bit of one inch extra fabric to help us guide it under the foot when we're doing our top stitching and then I also like to leave a bit of an overlocker tail as well to help pull it through. line now looks like this and the back like this so if you've cut if you've cut your binding at one inch to start with what you'll need to do here is at least trim close to the stitching to create your V at the front so even if you're just trimming just around that little bit um, when you've cut it at 7 8 it's okay it's all good um, so we're going to fold the neckline in half to match the ends. So I clip along that edge to keep it nicely aligned for when we sew our V. And what we're gonna do, we'll move across to the sewing machine. So what we're gonna do here is, essentially we wanna create a continuous line from the center front down here. So we've just got this tiny little bit that we want to stitch off and that'll create a nice V for us. Okay, 
so just manually move your needle around and make sure you're not stitching onto the bodice and you're just stitching through the binding. And back and forwards a few times when you get to the end just to secure that. So now we've stitched a little line across here. And then if we unclip the bodice, we should have a nice V at the front. So look at this, our nice V. 